So Coach Prime said a while ago that he's coming, and I mean it's clearly looking like it. Um, Colorado yesterday had a home game against the Cincinnati Bearcats, and I honestly forgot that Cincinnati is a Big 12 team now. But you know, but um, the game was uh, it was a pretty good game. Now Shador Shador went 25 or 30, 323 yards. Um, Travis Hunter went nine for 13. I mean nine for 13, nine receptions, 153 yards, two touchdowns. Also was doing his thing on defense. And um, now Colorado is ranked in the top 25, and I believe the AP poll. So you have to say about uh, all of that. You salute the Coach Prime. I had them winning at least six games and going to a bowl. You know, and even though they had a complete disaster against Nebraska, I still had them going winning at least six games. And it appears that they're, they now they might get the eight or nine games. Honestly, it seems like after that disaster, they they finally came together. Coach Prime did say that he don't want to, he don't want them to be ranked. They, he wished that they just stayed under the likes because you know a lot of people count them out, and um, you know they were just that man. That game because it was just bad. It was bad, but they hey they came together. Shador is showing clearly why he should be the number one overall pick. Travis Hunter is still showing why he should be the Heisman Award winner in my opinion, and also a top three pick. And um, you know hey they still got Texas Tech next week, and then um, who well, actually. Actually, this upcoming week's a bye week, and then they go against um, uh, Texas Tech November 9th, and then uh, against Utah, against Kansas, and against Oklahoma. I mean, <laughs> what if they win the next four games? And then they uh, they ten and two, and really at that point, I mean, everybody everybody who thought that it would be a complete disaster this year would have to eat crow. I was even critical of them. I still don't like the fact that you know they. You can't you can't really criticize them like that without people getting sensitive. But you know, salute to Shador, salute to Travis, salute to Coach Prime, and also it seems like Coach Prime's been doing this thing in recruiting as well. He liked to recruit more um, players who's already been in college, and now it seems like they're starting to gel. Last year, it looked like it was Shador, Travis versus everybody else, but now the offensive line is looking pretty decent. The defense also looks like the defense also like his own point. And you never know. I still think Coach Prime is going to leave Colorado, but he may surprise me and stay. And I don't know if he got a blue chip quarterback coming yet, but I mean, things look on the up and up for him, you know. So if they if they get the 10 and 2, you know, it, <laughs> well, what can you say? You know what I mean? The man brought HBCUs back to life as far as from a sports standpoint and uh, pretty much resurrected a uh, Colorado program who was literally in the dumps. You know, brought them hundred million dollars in TV revenue, and last year it was cool. It was it was cool. There was America's darling, but now this year you gotta prove it. And it looks like it looks like they're doing it, man. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, now they're bowl eligible. Let's just hope that they don't get too big for themselves, and um, you know, still try to grind out these next four games. Because like I said, if they go ten and two or nine and three, you know, what really can you say about them? But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Tell me what y'all think.